Hey everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach, and in this video, we're gonna answer the question how to convert an int into a string in Python. So, without further ado, let's start coding. What up everybody? So like I mentioned in this video, we are going to answer the question how to convert int into a string in Python. If you're not familiar with what ints and strings are in Python, go check out one of my other videos, my tutorial videos, um, where I talk about what are the different data types. Um, I have one on numbers and one on, and one on strings that kind of go more in depth. But in this video, we're going to answer that question. How can we convert an int into a string? I have four different ways that we're going to be able to accomplish this. And I want to start off with the first method. The first method is probably the most common that you'll see and probably use. And it's actually using the str or string function. And what this does is if I have a number 5 and if I do print, and I'm going to say str and say we just have a number 5. If I print this out, you'll just see 5. So what's different from that than this they don't look any different right especially if I'm printing out the command line well the difference is is if I go up here and do type and this will tell us the data type that's behind this and you'll see that this shows that it's a class of int but if I do str and then 5 you'll see that this actually changes it to class of string so that is the first of four ways that you can go about creating or converting an int into a string. Now, the second way that you can go about this is actually using the percent operator with strings. What I mean by that is we're gonna do percent %s, and you can do print, do your string, right? And I say percent %s, and then I do percent, and then my number. We're just gonna stick with five. So if I do this, you'll see, if I print it out, we should now, show us five. Again, how do we check the type? Well, I can just do what I did up here. And I can do the string. Again, really simple. That is the second way. The third way is using what's called format. And we could spend a whole other video on what you could do with format. But essentially, what you can do is do print and then format. And then do your number. So what's going to happen behind the scenes is, is in this string, it's going to create a string. And this basically tells the format function where to put the, the thing that you passed in um, or the number that you passed in. Could be a number, could be a variable, could be something else. So it's going to say five, go right here, and it's going to create a string out of that. And if we run it, we should see that. And how do we, again, how do we know? We can check with the type. And you should see that that is now also a string rather than just being the integer five. So the last one, I really like this one. I use it a lot in my day-to-day -day programming, um, especially when I'm dealing with strings. And it's actually called an F string. Um, the caveat, though, is that it has to be ran on Python 3.6 version or greater. Um, the reason being is it was that's when it was first implemented was in Python 3.6. And this you could spend a whole nother video on as well. But essentially it's kind of like, it's basically, I, in my opinion, I don't know exactly what caused the creation of f-string. Um, I'd have to do a little bit more research on that. My opinion is, is you can do a lot of, you can create a like, you can do a lot of these different things. Um, a lot of these brackets. And I could say comma, five, ten. And if I run it, uh, let me just get off the type. Now I've created this string where it's five space five space 10. So my, my, my thought of why this came about is that if you get a lot of these different things in here, like if you're trying to, maybe it's a log statement, whatever, like you could create a ton of it and it just got where it became a lot to manage. Well, F strings are really nice because I can just do print. Uh, I put an F instead of F in front of it to show that it's an F string. And then I can just do, that's it. That's my F string. Boom, five, how do I know? Well, I'm just gonna test it. With my type function, it'll tell me. And there it is, it's a class string. So I really like that one because it makes it where I can put my variable or my number or whatever I'm trying to convert or add to a string right there in the string. Um, 
And that is four different ways that you can go about creating strings or creating ints into strings um, using these four different methods. So I would go ahead and play with it, see what you like the best, see what, see what works for what you're trying to do with it, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like and if you found any other ones that you use or that have been interesting for you. And don't forget to subscribe and check, check the notification button so that you get notified every time we uh, upload a new video, um, whether it's Python related or any other software development related uh, video. So thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day and keep on coding.